you now who I am endorsing. I am endorsing for mayor. Uh, today I am endorsing P.J. Conley for mayor of Greenville. I'm genuinely excited about some of the candidates running in this year's council election, and I believe if, uh, if elected, Greenville's going to have one of the best young, dynamic, and vibrant councils we've ever seen. I'm very excited about it, actually. P.J. Connolly, I believe, is a natural leader. I've been very impressed with him as the campaign has developed. In our recent on-air forum, Connolly clearly showed his vision and plans to move Greenville forward. And I think that's where Greenville is going and should go forward. Under Connolly's leadership, I believe the city's current economic momentum will continue. He has the right agenda to recruit new businesses and industry into our community. He also has the right temperament and attitude to deal with the type of people who will be looking at investing at Green in Greenville in the future. And while I don't necessarily agree with every vote uh, P.J. Connolly has made while on the city council, I think he's explained his rationale and kept his eye on the fiscal responsibility in which he has been entrusted. I also really believe in P.J. Connolly's integrity in the highest degree, and that's one of the big reasons that I'm endorsing him today. I thought about how the two major candidates would govern if elected. I believe past behavior and associations are probably the best way to judge what will happen in the future. As such, I have huge concern about Calvin Mercer's association to the social justice warriors in town who want to push their agenda at the city level. We only have to look at how the mayor, Charlotte, pushed that entire transgender bathroom issue to have a good example of that. Is that what we want in Greenville? Mercer's association with Uriah Ward, for example, is troubling in that regard. Ward has been Mercer's campaign manager in the past and is now a candidate himself in the 3rd District. And I might add, in, in, Mercer has revealed recently that, uh, that, that he has encouraged people to donate to Uriah Ward's campaign. Ward seems content to push social issues into city politics. Most of us want the city council to focus on economic development and fiscal responsibility, not social issues. I'm also troubled by Calvin Mercer's lack of candor during his recent deposition in that student housing case. While that case is yet to be adjudicated, there is no question in my mind that he seemed less than forthcoming about his role in this problematic scheme to sway members of the Planning and Zoning Board in a very important decision that may well end Greenville up in a courtroom. To have our newly elected mayor testifying in that case and answering questions by saying things like, I don't remember and I can't recall, would be very embarrassing for the city of Greenville. This case seems to be a simple matter of a council member favoring one development over another, and Mercer's claim that he was simply looking after the city's best interest when trying to protect a prior commitment made by the council does not pass the smell test. It appears to be a simple case of favoring one developer over another. That's not the way to encourage investment in our city. So I encourage you to vote for P.J. Conley for mayor of Greenville. I truly believe Conley's leadership skills and demeanor are what is needed now for Greenville to continue to be the shining star of the East.